Back. Restoration of African culture and heritage, dignity and Ubuntu will be high on the agenda at, uh, as the Fosilar Civic Centre in Eguruleni will be hosting the 2017 Contralesa Youth Launch later on today. The event aims to encourage the youth you know, to learn and bring unity amongst the tribes and eradicate any forms of tribalism and xenophobia. To help us unpack what will be happening this afternoon, I'm joined in studio by Gauteng Contralesa representatives Piuem Gomezulu and Nikiwa Bam. Uh, a, very good, uh, a very good morning to you too and welcome morning and uh, thank you for the opportunity and good morning to the viewers as well Emma. indeed uh, Spew, i'm going to start with you what uh, what is the contralesa youth launch is it about um i think with the contralesa youth um, um i would like Ugo to also stand anywhere to actually embark on that because um they're the ones who actually came up with the the, 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 the idea uh, we as the youth of the we we just uh, felt to it, it's very important not to it, see a, a part of it because we also embrace the african culture but the background of um, the contralesa i think sister negiwe can be able to um to be the one or, mm -hmm. or, or kaza would wait or started and all this kind of a thing Nikiwa, since the launch uh, since the inception of contralesa youth what sort of changes have you been seeing all right, uh, the Controlesa Youth Wing, uh, Gauteng, we started last year. We launched our province last year, so currently I'm the chairperson in Gauteng. So what we have been trying to do now is to sort of launch the regions so that we can embark on the programs, we promote promotion of culture and social cohesion. And um, we have a lot of challenges as young people. Mm -hmm. So we promote uh, the, the spirit of Ubuntu, also that the young people must also get opportunities, learn about culture, learn about heritage, and also the way that we behave must also be that of Ubuntu. So, so far we are going to launch the, the, the regions, and then after that we are going to start with the programs that we, we want to do, like um, economic development, social cohesion, cultural activities, and all that. That will involve all of the people, like young people in Khoateng. So what is it that you're trying to achieve? What we're trying to achieve is awareness, uh, is restoration, is culture, because most of the people, they don't know much about their culture. Yeah. So as we always say, like a, a nation without its culture is lost. So what we're trying to bring is bring back that spirit. We want to restore, we want to um, respect the institutions of traditional leaders as well, so that all the programs that we do, we do them in cooperation with the traditional leaders. We learn from them, we learn about our cultures is seen to because as we know that we always uh, celebrate heritage day in september but what we're saying is that heritage is not only in september heritage is who you are heritage sure. is every day every so day, we yeah. need to celebrate ourselves as black people as well our culture every day yeah Please. and it starts with you now i've mentioned some of the <laughs> themes uh, that, uh, that 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 will be covered during the day so just take us through some of the topics that will be discussed uh, at the event today as I said, um, after I met uh, Sister Nigiwe, we met at the church. Uh, so after we met, when he mentioned something about bringing back uh, African culture to our young people, hence we know that uh, Abanda Batala, they, they, they more uh, into it, but young people, they still need to learn more. So Ute Magati to me, okay guys, we want to do it in at the city of Ekuguleni, and Mina as a young person, who is actually um, the one or, or, or mobilizer uh, with young people around the Kugulen or who works with young people around the Kugulen. When she said she wanted to launch it at Kugulen, I said, no, we would love to adopt that because also Nami, I'm one of the person who believes Uguti, young people need to understand where they come from. They need to understand Uguti, whatever that happens into their future life uh, lies with what has happened in the past. Um, they need to understand Uguti, um, where do they actually come from? I, I, things that are happening to them, they might have been the cause of what has happened in, the, in, 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 the, in their background in the past. So they need to know where they come from, they need to know where they are heading to. So we felt as Ekuguleni, um, we want to go to also see, 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 we want to also mobilize and, and put young people up front with, with, with their culture. So that's why we felt, no, let us adopt what uh, Negiwa was bringing up on board. Why do you think young people are not adopting and embracing their culture and their heritage. Do you think the elderly folks should be blamed for not imparting the uh, same? 
No, I wouldn't. Yeah, uh, uh, older people are teaching us. There is a, a saying that I love that says, in the libus of Bandaba Pambili. So a lot of people, are, are older people, they are teaching us. But I think I I ignorance from us young people, that, that, that might be the major problem. A lot of young people are very ignorant to, to, to culture. They always tell you, um, your time has passed, especially into adult. Your time has passed. No, this is our time. And hence, um, I always say to Abantu, um, in, in African, we believe Uguti, the existing SCBs are illos. We believe Uguti, most of those things are, are, are not the ones only who have passed on. Even your Umtom Tala, your, your elderly, Kokwako, it, 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 it's your spiritual uh, illos and something like that. So if you disrespect him, obviously you're disrespecting your, your way. Uvalin, even the Bible teaches us that. Um, uh, uh, respect your elder and you live longer. So, so I, I feel good. Young people they have been taught by Abantabatala on how to live their African culture, but we are just being ignorant. So I think bringing a contalesa into our our city it will embark to make them be aware of good. culture is very important. It's very important for one to know where they come from. We are who we are because of where we come from. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's particularly the urban folk that does not necessarily adopt their culture and their heritage. Why do you think that's the case, and what can be done about it? A lot of people grow up here in, in, in urban areas. They, they don't actually experience real life. They don't get engaged and um, sort of learn about other things like that we as people that from the rural areas maybe can have an advantage to learn. So like myself, I always say that if you haven't grown up in rural areas, there's a lot that you miss. There's uh, agriculture, because most of the people in, in urban areas, they stay in, in closed doors. Sure. So there are no fields, there's no agriculture. So sometimes even if we talk about food security, we talk about economic development, they, there's so much that is limited to them that they can access. But now if we try to bring such things to say, this is how Africans live, mm -hmm. this is how Africans survive, then, then there's going to be that encouragement to say, let's participate even in agriculture. Culture because Let's they, all get involved. Now, briefly, yes. we haven't got much time. Uh, where is the event being held and what time? And uh, how do we get hold of the tickets? Uh, okay, the, the event is actually a launch for Ekuruleni region. Okay. So it's in Foslora Civic Center. We are expecting traditional leaders to attend. We're expecting some guests like Moral Regeneration Movement. So they are based in Bramfontein. They are there because what the aim is to bring social cohesion okay. and to unite. So it's happening there it's starting from 1 o'clock today and it will end around four all right yes. we really love your work keep it up thank you so much for coming through this thank morning. you so much for the time all right that's us pm gomezulu and nikki Obama, uh, speaking to us about the 2017 contralesa launch that's expected to take place later today as you heard uh, at the foslera civic center in ekuruleni this is morning live let's take a short break we'll be right back